Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dean. If you're new here, hi, how are you? Hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful day. We're in a new season, a new month. So let's dive in. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. This is my co star. What up, world? Going back into the office, season five, episode three. Also, special day this week. Dean's birthday is Friday. Mark your calendars. Mark them calendars. <laughs> Turning 25. Stop lying to the people. Plus five. Okay, just remember to keep breathing. My cervix is ripening. Michael is preparing for the birth of a watermelon with Dwight delusion. That's that the best way to so put it. I, somebody just needs to click it in Michael's little skull. That is the best way I to mean, put it. I mean, in a sense, he's, I mean, he's. No, he's not. Don't give him no credit on He has nothing. I wonder if he's going to carry this baby on if every every season. Kevin never, if Kevin never seen her at the, at the store. You're right. This you're right. Never brought up. She'd have never told him. You're right. What do you do? What do you do? I get a what call from do? Jan and I meet her at the hospital. Check the route. Adapt. There are no potholes. Come on. Get adapting to the circumstances. Here we go. Babies are one of my many areas of expertise. Is it? Growing up, I performed my own circumcision. Screaming, I'm screaming, oh, I'm right. screaming! Right. Ah! Just push and breathe. Anesthesia. He's one of his many areas that he knows, as always. Why would you need anesthesia having a baby? This is your expertise. I think he meant epidural. That's exactly what he meant. I don't know. But he meant what he said by not being correct. Yeah. Simulate. <laughs> okay, do you have the sharpest? Where's his Let's try that again. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Hello, ladies. Did you get the live storks? No. Live storks? Damn it. For your instructions, we have the personalized M&Ms with the baby name. This is the girl bowl with M&Ms with the name Aster. It is the name of a Viking like, princess. Like Aster? Oh. Or like Aster. Is this it? I mean, is this two bowls of M&Ms? <laughs> we all came into this room and gave you... A golden shower. Michael, maybe a because... A golden shower. He said, where's my golden shower, Maybe Phyllis? because last time you gave her money for the last event you threw, and so she did, had funding did. for the actual throw it. In this event, you probably gave her $10 to fund all this with live storks that you always ask for. So that's probably where the funding is and why the party isn't... I forgot Angela is not in charge no more. She is not. It's like when the dog nurses the tiger cub. Bizarre is it? and unnatural. Why do we have to pay money to get a gift for his ex-girlfriend's unborn sperm bank baby? I do enjoy being the head of the party planning committee. Great head. Going? Don't talk to them. I'm sorry. Make the party. Look at Angela okay. in the back smiling. He studied in oh, Ireland. Yeah. Oh. The one who does the Murakami style collages. Anyway, boners T.A. Sarah Kai comes in. Wait, who's Sarah Kai? Sarah Kai picks light. up Stacey's new TM pad and throws it at the light box. No, it was horrible. Jim, she might get arrested. Who's Stacy? Why can't you just be in art class with me? Ah. Uh, oh, wait, I gotta go. It's a good story. Was it? Who's Sarah Kaya comes in? What's going on here? It's a baby game where you guess whose picture is whose. A little baby would be marrying that little baby. He should have never went in there trying to he guess. Said anyway. Phyllis. Like, why would you go or guess? Or she said Phyllis. Why would you go guessing? It? I wouldn't. I don't, honestly, I, nine times out of ten, like, I don't know the adult from the baby. Like, I, it's hard. The thing is, there's two people that's going to stand out in this. Kelly, Kelly and Stanley. Exactly. They're going to be two darkest babies. Wilbur, the so way, it's don't not fair. say it like it's that. It's not fair. It's not, they, I'm just being honest. It's not going to be fair. They're going to stand out. You yeah. got to know who they are. I mean, so they're eliminated right it's, off the yeah, bat. Yeah, like, you gotta know who they are. Like, they already know. Why does that make me a pervert? I, I just... Well, it does. That's me. Oh. Why did you do that? You're so... Oh, hey. Jan Levinson is coming in Who's today. Dirty a child of which I have a vested interest. I am going to be acting kind of cold to you. And I'm treating Ryan the same way. Of course. <laughs> Why Ryan? What does Ryan have to do with this? He thinks Ryan is a handsome guy. So you're going to treat Ryan? <laughs> he has to treat the good looking people mean, I guess? It makes no sense. I have swollen ankles. I'm constantly hungry. Do you think my nipples don't get sore too? She had the baby? Oh. Oh no. Michael wasn't there to mark it. So the baby could be anybody's. Dang, she's still doing grimy stuff in this dude. Michael's still here for her. Michael, why do you keep supporting that, this that's nonsense? That's so wrong. That's so wrong. I mean, I, I mean, I get it, but I don't. He keeps don't supporting her to. for what? If I'm Michael in this situation, I'm gonna go kiss what's his name right in front of her. Oh wow! My go up to her and just he yeah, take this. Oh, so she knows about the baby shower and. Like, take this. Go kiss her right in front of her. Why didn't you call me? 
Well, um, I, you know, I would, labor just kind of started. He had no sense of humor, and I proved him wrong yeah, in so many ways. I thought today at the baby shower would be a good time for the two of you to meet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think just leave her in the car seat. See, I'm done with that. Yeah. That's a nice car seat. I love babies. <laughs> I try to pick up and hold a baby every day, if possible. Babies okay, are drawn to me, and I think it's because right. they see me as one of them. If a baby Aww. were president, there would be no taxes. It actually probably it would be a better screenplay idea that for the first time in her life and Astrid. in the office, Astrid, this is your family. Oh. You're going to know them for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay, here we go. Lion King. Oh, Michael, Michael, Michael. Mike. Conference room. Choppity, chip chop. <sighs> okay. Wow. HR weirdo. Try not to suck all the air out of there when you walk in. I go, the baby's already been born. Yeah, duh. The baby multiplies the fun. Let's wow. just do what you were going to do. Mm. How about some presents? I want to see some presents. We all chipped in and got you this stroller. She's going to orbit. That's a $1,200 stroller. $1,200 is what I spent on my whole bomb shelter. Oh. He's going to ruin their Things stroller. Are always easy. Can I get away again tonight? Oh. The only one. I can't hear anything. Sure, there's like, Everyone's there's like machine. There's like machine. last 20 minutes. I can't hear anything. Oh, right. I'm not frustrated. Even if I were in Scranton, Jim and I would have days like this. Oh, great. I, I washed my lipstick. Each other's knowing, looking to see <laughs> how much we've grown as. Look where you paused it. Oh my gosh, he's gonna ruin oh, that. I'm not entertaining gonna, any of this. He's gonna ruin that twelve hundred dollars stroller, and they're gonna have no choice but yeah. to use well, the one that's the office At least she's using gave. her gift. That's what she get. Because she should have told them what was going on. You're right, you're right. So she can get that one they got her as a gift. Go ahead and destroy it, Dwight. I'm giving you the okay. Playtime is over! Well, actually, I uh, I had a tub birth. And it was really, really quite amazing. Um, so you're in the tub with everything? Oh, yeah, the afterbirth floats. Yeah. Oh, after the birth, you get out and Me you too. Yeah. the afterbirth. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. It was bottom. beautiful. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Would it help if you held Astrid for just a... Mm. No. Nope. I'm just gonna lie down for a couple of minutes. I'm exhausted. So. That baby looks so real. Phyllis. But he complained just to give it up. He complained just to give up the baby. I need some advice from one baby daddy to another. Ooh. Did you have an immediate connection with that baby? Hell yeah. You know why? Because it's my baby. Because that was my baby. Because wow. you're not a daddy. Well, and that's not your baby. You feel connected to this? That's not a baby. You want to hold me? See how you feel? Well, really? Oh. I was just catching up on my sleep. I can't imagine. Wah! More paper. Wah! No. That's funny. She's with Angela. Damn. I need it to look up here. Get the baby to look. Okay. Up here, ready? What yeah. You see? Look up here. Uh, your hands on oh it. Oh, my Sorry. God. She's nature's bounty. Don't bounty. flash around a newborn baby. Don't you know that? Uh, I was going to talk to Holly oh. about her hygiene. Oh. Come on. The bumper test. Oh, my goodness. Sure you can't stay a little longer? Oh, no, Michael. You know what? I, I really have to go. I took the liberty of putting it in your trunk. Oh. Thanks, Dwight. Don't date Holly. Ooh. Well, Why? That's I hate her. I I mean not that it matters because I don't. But w w okay. To the baby shower. It's great. And uh, I'll I'll see you soon. Yeah, I'm a little jealous. Uh, she loves the stroller. Still gonna be mean to me? Is he trying to cop a few? Want to go out? Oh. Why is she crying? Uh, yes, Michael, he Why did. is she crying? Because she likes him a oh lot. Oh, my God. Why? I thought he was going to say something. Why is she crying? I thought he was going to say something stupid, but he did. <laughs> He's going to be like, I can't date you. Like, I, can't. I thought he was going to say that was, this is my last hug uh, or something. I don't did know. It. He did it. Can anybody explain why Holly is crying? Like, I don't know. I'm confused. Hey, it's Jim. Leave a message. Hi. I figured I'd catch you walking to your car, but... We just must be out or something. I guess this is just one of those days. It'll get better. I finished my laundry. Got all my socks. That crazy guy came in and started yelling at you? And then, remember, we went shopping the next day? Be safe. You're probably upset that I'm even at a laundromat right now. I'm headed to my dorm. 
not home. Anyway, um, I miss you. They weren't talking to each other? They caught at the same time, so the voicemail. Oh, I thought they were playing, like, you know, the little jokes they do. I thought they were just playing. No, they caught at the same time, so it went to voicemail. They're so, oh my goodness, I cannot. They, oh my gosh, they are something else. Oh, okay, great episode once again. This season is starting off great. I'm a little disappointed in Jan, but it's nothing new. It's Jan. And I'm kind of getting annoyed with Pam, too, because it's like, Pam, do better. She do better. To, gotta do something better. But like I said, overall, great episode. Let us know what you guys thought about it down below in the comment section. I do have a Patreon support episode if you guys want to hit that way. And I wonder, is Jan going to be around? Like, is, is Michael really taking this baby seriously he and is going to keep this baby no, throughout he's, the seasons? He's, he's Or is this just like a he's one-stop shop with the baby? I don't know. He's rolling with I don't know what we're doing. But until next time, guys.